Hurricane Katrina was the costliest hurricane in U.S. history, with a total damage estimate of $108 billion. It flooded 80% of the city of New Orleans. Nearly 200 people lost their lives. Ball Aerospace has teamed up with NOAA and NASA to create the next-generation polar orbiting weather satellite, JPSS-1. I'm Scott Asbury, and I'm the face of JPSS. I'm Deepthi Sharma, and I'm the face of JPSS. So JPSS is the nation's next generation operational polar orbiting weather satellite to provide data to the meteorologists and forecasters to predict the weather. I am Dan Miller and I am the face of JPSS. My name is Zaid Syed Ali and I am the face of JPSS. I am Stein Cass and I am the face of JPSS. Our team of highly skilled engineers represents a small fraction of all the people and effort that it takes to build the Joint Polar Satellite System. It is thanks to their education and experiences that they are able to design, build, test and integrate the JPSS weather satellite. My name is Meredith Larson and I am the ADCS lead on JPSS-1. I work on the Attitude, Determination, and Control System, and this subsystem figures out where the spacecraft is located and oriented in space, and uses that information to point the instruments towards the Earth and the solar array towards the Sun. Representing different universities and programs of study, they have equipped Ball Aerospace with the talent vital to build the JPSS Polar Orbiting Weather Satellite. As a systems engineer, most of my job revolves around coordinating with all the different technical disciplines and making sure that their efforts are actually working to meet the customer requirements. Well, I uh, heard the cat, so to speak. I, uh, I have a group of nine or ten uh, very specific engineers that are the responsible engineers for the different subsystems on the spacecraft and I have to make sure that we all work together so I'm kind of like the glue between all those engineers. Polar orbiting weather satellites are similar to a continuously moving flashlight. This flashlight constantly circles the Earth in an almost north-south orbit passing close to both poles and shining on different strips of the entire Earth twice a day. JPSS-1 spacecraft is an extension or a continuation of a long line of weather satellites that are in space right now or have been gathering data on weather for the last 40 to 50 years. As a matter of fact, JPSS-1 is an evolution of the NPP spacecraft, which was launched in October two and a half years ago. I'm most proud of my work on SWAMI NPP. It's the precursor mission to JPSS. It's an operational weather satellite. I got to work that program for about four and a half years. And now to see that the data that it's gathering is providing weather data for people every day and also providing severe weather data for people in crises and saving lives, um, it's just, it's so rewarding to be part of something that is having such a big impact. It's pretty amazing. JPSS-1 will continue the job of the current polar orbiting weather satellite, SUMI-NPP, in collecting atmospheric data, including profiles of atmospheric temperature, moisture, and pressure. In addition to weather, it will also map ozone to gather climate data with the Ball Aerospace Build instrument, the Ozone Mapping and Profiler Suite. Measuring ozone is something that's also critical to the nation from a climate monitoring perspective. Ball Aerospace is not only proud to build and integrate the next generation polar orbiting weather satellite, but to do our part in keeping people and property safe from weather disasters. Uh, the predictions of the weather will be more accurate uh, and longer uh, horizon timeline to provide better advance warnings so people can prepare uh, for uh, severe weather ahead. JPSS-1 is set to be completed and ready for launch in 2017. I am proud that Ball has been chosen to perform this mission for the U.S. government, and I am proud that we will be able to deliver it on time and on schedule. 